This far. Now take us home. Come on, coach. I was born ready. And we are underway again here. Greg, less than three minutes to go. This is the moment you can only dream of. MP has a chance to get his team over the proverbial mountain in a game seven of the NBA Finals. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, and how great have these offenses been for these teams tonight? Just fantastic execution. And MP and his team clearly in the driver's seat right at the moment, Stan. Yeah, they have got to stay focused and hold on right now. You do not want to let this lead slip away. Here's Brown following the basket by MP. Both loose. And Stan, this team wouldn't be where it is tonight without the sensational performance from MP. No doubt, Kevin. His stat line has been beyond impressive. And with MP going up in Chicago and following the Jordan dynasty so closely, now just moments away from starting his own era with a win here. And we saw early on that MP can defer too much, but in these playoffs, he stepped up and has become the guy for this team in the clutch. Hachimura against Brown. Can't get it. And nerves now, Stan, looking to be a major factor. They're running out of time. Oh, wow, what a quick move inside. That is incredible. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. Well, clearly the defense has had no answer for them. Might be time to try something different. Wide outside. Puts up the three. MP with the rebound. And here's the Lakers. It's been 13 unanswered points for him. And Stan MP is pouring it on in this finals game seven. Kevin, we are witnessing championship pedigree in the making right here. Right looking around. Tatum with it. Catch up a three. MP with the rebound. The three. Coach MP cannot be stopped. Yeah, Kevin, if there ever was a time to put more fuel on a fire, this is that moment. Tatum gets to White. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. And so it's the Lakers with it. One of the things, Stan, you've got to admire about this group, their resiliency, their tenacity, how tough they have fought every inch of this game. Yeah, well, look back to how they handled themselves in round one, round two, the conference finals. With MP leading his team every step of the way, bringing them right here to this moment. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And Craig, as the final seconds tick away, the realization has set in for this group. And Kevin, they've reached the finish line. That sweet taste of victory. And they can finally just rejoice and take it all in. Such a phenomenal showing by MP and his guys in this overtime to seal. And as the final seconds dwindle down, these players showing emotion. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what are they? And they've done it! They are the NBA champions! Yo, MP. Hey, what's up with you, man? You doing another one of those visualization exercises? I was. 
All right, well, look, I've been calling you for a minute, okay? It's like you're on a different planet. Listen, you got to fully immerse yourself in the experience that you're trying to manifest. If it doesn't feel real, then it doesn't work. Okay, you're right. All right, so what are you manifesting this time? I got that goal set at meeting later on with Coach Tucker and Cliff. Okay. And I was visualizing how I want my rookie year to go. Okay, cool. Well, judging by that goofy-looking grin you got on your face, it must have went pretty good, huh? Let me guess, rookie of the year. Even better. A championship, bro. Ooh, I was close, though. Okay, look, on that tip, when you get to the meeting, they're going to ask you, what kind of player do you want to be? Mm -hmm. All right? Have you visualized that yet? As a matter of fact, I have. Well, great. What do you see? Come on, man, you see it. <laughs> you spent a lot of time thinking about this, didn't you? Yeah, only my entire life. Now, did you want something or were you just coming in here to try to interrupt my meditation, man? <laughs> ah, nah, man, I'm here on official business, all right? I know we boys and all, but I am your manager, okay? I still can't believe I let you talk me into this one, man. <laughs> hey, that's a power of persuasion, right? And it's one of the best skills you can have as a manager. All right, Mr. Manager. Manager Wade, what's up, man? All right, so I was coming here to remind you about that goal setting meeting you got today, but you're all over that, though. 100%. All right, look, don't be late, okay? Because Coach Tucker hates him when people are late. It's at the arena, right? Yeah, it's in Cliff's office. All right, got you. Okay, good. Now let's talk about pickup hoops. Oh, nah, P. You're not about to tell me I can't hoop at the park, man. I could get hurt just walking down the street. I can't worry about that, man. No, 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 that's not my angle. As a matter of fact, I was going to tell you I found the guys in the city who run the best games, okay? Chris Manning and Shakedown. I dropped a pin for you so you can talk to him whenever. Okay. Nice, man. Good looking out, bro. Hey, no doubt. <laughs> hey, anything <laughs> else or what's up? Oh, uh, yeah, walk with me. What's this? Well, I've been thinking. This moment, start to your NBA career. I mean, we talked about this for as long as we've known each other, man. Facts. You put in a ridiculous amount of work to get here. That's also true, man. Yeah, so I just, you know, wanted to give you something you could look at to remind yourself of how far you come and so you can appreciate the journey. Yo, is this that club league ticket from when you was out there talking trash in the parking lot, bro? <laughs> Yo, it is, it is. And when you found out I was moving to Plainview, you were big mad. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I'm not going to lie, man. This is outstanding. This is, this is hitting me, man. It's just a small token. So what are you gonna do now? Head to the arena, get there nice and early for your meeting. No one to leave coach waiting. Uh, he must love you. <laughs> That's not the impression I get. Look, you'll be fine, all right? If he gives you any problems, you let me know, all right? I'll take care of him. All right, man, sounds good. Yo, what you doing here in Plainview, man? I live here now. And it was either Wolfpack or Dynasty for Club League, and I didn't want to play with you. So I chose Wolfpack. Yeah, so you want the scouts to see you playing on the losing team and see a star on that, okay. I'm going to get the scouts to notice me by shooting every chance I get. I mean, if I play with you, you'll be yelling at me to make the extra That's pass. right, because yeah. I want to win. Okay, that's all you think the scouts care about? Yeah, the scouts care if you can win, bro. Okay, then you really are stupid, bro. Well, let me give you some game, man. <laughs> here we go. 
Right. Scouts only care if you got the skills that translate to the next level. Mm -hmm. That's it. Point blank in the story. Well, you only prove that by winning. No, you prove that by showing how you can help them win at the next level. All right, I'm... I'm, I'm cocky, but I'm not stupid, MP. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not, a, I'm not a high flyer. I'm not a rim protector. So if I want to leave this broke downtown, I have to prove I can shoot. That makes sense, bro. Because you're small. Man, you ain't got to be wimpy to shoot out the gym. But since you care so much, I'm going to give you that L you've been asking for. Yeah, right? I ain't bet. All Let's right. do it. Bet. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our presentation of Illinois Club League Basketball. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Danny Hogger and Drake Hugo. Some of the future stars of the region look to hone in their skills as we have the Wolfpack hosting the dynasty. And to call this a rivalry might be underselling it. This is more of a feud than anything. These clubs really dislike each other. And the Wolfpack would love to play spoiler in this one, looking to put an end to the dynasty's 11-game win streak. Yeah, Joe, and both of these teams have plenty of talent to get it done tonight. The Wolfpack are only 7-4 on the season, but this roster can play with the best of them and can pull out a win against just about anyone. And how excited are you for this one? This is about as intense a game gets at the club level. These teams genuinely dislike each other. That one drops for him. Well, MP knows he can score in close when he needs to. And right there, he did just that. Outside Stauffer. Well, it's outside. Back to James. Michael Stauffer on the wing. Robinson. The fader. Rebound from Edwards and Drake. You talk about the rivalry between the Wolfpack and Dynasty. They've both had their moments. They certainly have, and I would expect a very physical game here tonight. That's the bare minimum when these teams play. Down low. Well, the big name in the showcase has to be MP. He's a five-star recruit and has a clear path to the NBA with his skill set and athleticism. And scouts want to see him take over the game. They want to see him be athletic. They want to see his instinct and moves on the floor because sometimes he can defer it a bit too much. To the middle, Edwards. The shot's good. Dillard making the play there. Focused finish by young MP. He's such a cool customer. Passes to Wells. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by the dynasty. Inside. Wells with the steal. Stoffer with the ball. Terrific assist and nice finish. Solid play all around. Patrick Wells doesn't have a size advantage inside, so it's all about his touch. To the paint. Here's Edwards. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And with the high school season now in the rearview mirror, for many of these players, they are solely focused on club play. And winning on the club circuit is their only goal as of now. I'd expect that to mean the games are going to be a little bit more chippy because of that. It's Dillard outside. On the wing, it's MP. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. Zach Timmerman on the wing. Luan covering. Close one. And it's Timmerman missing. The dynasty trailing. Edwards, that's good. Swiftly moving up the floor. MP loves to score before the defense can get into their game plan. Wells outside, takes a three, and it's Fisher with the rebound. Well, you think about what sets MP apart on this Dynasty team, his athleticism you rarely see at the club level. He's been stunning, Joe. When he's driven, he's physically capable of explosive feats. Speaking of, I'm setting my phone up right here because I think we've got a great angle for some viral content. Now here's Stopper. Fader on the way. Robinson, and Wells gets it to go. Some serious dedication from Wells inside. Fighting for the board, and then getting a look of his own. To the inside, Edwards. 
Cole. The shot's good. Dillard making the play there. It's hard to believe he's in high school. The way he's moved the ball today has been tremendous. I like the leadership and the effort to get the other guys going. And you see how much they appreciate it out there. This has been the core focus of Wells' game offensively. He's just so confident in his ability to hit from that range. From deep, it's MP. Count that one, shooting a scorching 86%, seven of eight on the night. MP has been something else this first half, well on its way to a huge game. And we've talked about the heated interactions of these teams before. It's a result of history and proximity. Oh yeah, the bad blood comes from getting in each other's faces way too often over the years. Certainly doesn't help they operate out of the same region in Illinois. Now here's Luan. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Fisher. Yep, count it. Eric Fisher working hard inside, coming away with the score and his work ethic right now on full display. The Wolfpack trail. Wells outside. Over Edwards. Wells, no good. Edwards with it. Wells on him. Edwards guarded by Wells. Back to Edwards. Good once again, and he's now eight of nine. Everybody knows MP has the ability to score all day long. And look, that's why his coaches and scouts don't want him to defer as much as he does. And with a showcase game like this and tonight's rosters, you can expect a lot of college scouts in the stands. The importance of this game, setting the narrative of each player's potential. Opinions are forming about these players, and each minute could be another pro or con in each scout's report. Now a timeout called by the Wolfpack. <laughs> so it's both teams making a change here. Ricky Davidson. Jason Jr. Substitution for the Wolfpack. Dynasty on D. Seven point game, their biggest lead of the game. Two points. Wells gets it to go. He says, don't tell me I'm too small. Wells attacking the heart of that defense. Now here's Dillard. Knocks it loose. And so it looks like the Dynasty will retain possession here. Right here. Here's Edwards. Yep, that one goes. Some more nice work down low in the paint. He's really established himself inside. The Wolfpack with the ball. When I talked to Wolfpack shooting guard Deshaun Carter pregame, he had a tablet with some personal scouting notes, animated plays, and video highlights. Yeah, Danny, I was looking at his tablet, and he even had a My NBA franchise with creative players to represent each team. That level of dedicated planning makes him a database of information on these teams. Defensive. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw a contact, First, and he'll shoot two. What you like about Dillard down. is the movement on the floor and the at activity. The He's the always looking to make a play. And the first one at the line is Two good. Shots. And so he makes both at the line that time. The Wolf Pack with the ball. It's a nine point game. Puts it up from 12. And he gets that one to go off the front of the rim and in. Really, nothing better than a bucket from mid-range. Wells just knocking it down there. Pass to Edwards. It's stolen away by James. And for Eric Dillard, he's a standout at the high school level in the area, but most scouts have him as a middling recruit. He can just disappear from games too often, though. Great shot, but too many easy mistakes that he has yet to fix. Clock at six. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. He's two for two. Yeah, I like the confidence by Stoffer. When he's close to the rim, he looks to score whenever possible. Take it on down. Take it on now here's Dillard. Back to Edwards. The shot's good. Dillard making the play there. It's very easy to see why MP is so high on the scouts list with how he's scoring tonight. Wells outside. Fresh, the screen. From outside the arc. It's Michael Luan with the rebound. The size on the bench for both teams is formidable. Oh, yeah, Danny, this team is stacked. I was looking up to some of the players walking in as we set up tonight. Woo, they're tall. I know one thing, though. I wouldn't take too many shots inside with either second unit tonight. 
And the Wolfpack have possession. They trail by nine. Outside Stoffer. Carter passes to Wells. And it's Edwards with the foul. That's his first foul. And these calls can be some of the toughest for officials to make. But in this case, I think he got it right. The defender was still moving there. He never got set. Outside Stoffer. And here's Robinson. Six on the shot clock. No good on the triple. We know that's a shot that he can hit. It's frustrating that you can't cash it in because you were so wide open. Screen by Davidson. Dillard defended by Carter. Pass to Edwards. Back to Luan. Edwards. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Dynasty coach Duncan Carter has worked to impart a sense of focus in this ongoing rivalry. The rivalry of these teams is well documented, and he wants his club to continue their winning ways. Yeah, Danny, he knows that the way the games have swung between these two sides is a dynamic rivalry. He would like the dynasty to play at a heightened intensity for this one. Now here's Dillard. Hits the three-pointer. I mean, that's what Dillard does best. His shooting is huge for his team. The Wolfpack with the ball. A 12-point contest. Now here's Robinson. Davidson defends. Now Robinson. Here's Wells. Their offense is stone cold. Another miss there. On the wing, it's MP. The shot's good. Dillard making the play there. And you love how MP has been able to put up the points with all the scouts watching. You look at this Wolfpack roster, a lot of players who will play college ball, but Patrick Wells could be the barometer. And they are ecstatic to have him with the team. Add some much needed shooting, they're hoping he can change the fate of their season. Wells is cooking this first half. Great scoring output from him. Fisher, left side, back to Edwards. And the shot falls! And he's definitely making his presence felt here in the first half. So effective at this point. If they're going to make a run, it's no time like the present. We certainly expected a better game than this. It has not been a pretty picture. Wells outside. Another miss by Wells. Edwards outside. Back to Luan. Inside. No good that time. And that does it for the first half of the play. Dynasty out front, up by 15. And time for a break. The action resumes right after this. The teams have had their break. The Wolfpack and Dynasty getting ready to kick things off here in the second half of play. And in club play this season, the Wolfpack enter tonight at 7-4, while the Dynasty are a perfect 11-0. And I'd say we could throw out the record books, Joe. Whoosh! That threw mine right across the table. Sorry, Drake. Because of the history of these regional rivals so complex, both teams thrive on denying the other the chance to win in big games like this one. Zadirko is an absolute dog inside. He wants that fight close to the hoop. And so here it's the Wolfpack. Trailing by 17. Three-pointer, Patrick Wells. It's good. That's his eighth basket for him now. Shooting eight of 15. We can't say enough for his individual performance so far, even if the team overall has been lacking in the effort department. Michael Stuffer for three. And again, the Wolfpack with the triple. Trouble brewing whenever Stauffer is hitting from distance. He's developing a well-rounded game. Pass to Luan. Dillard. And the layup good off the glass. And we're here in the gym in the Plainview Panthers. It's a familiar floor to some players in our game today because they go to high school here. Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, home court advantage is everything in a contentious game like this. A little extra bit of comfort might make a difference. You can't count anything out in such a heated affair. Defense! 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 Wells outside. Defense! It's hauled in by Eric Fisher. 
And some fantastic passing for them in this one. The ball is flying around. They look like a disciplined, well-coached team out there. And the center, Zadirko, is a threat inside. You can't allow him to get this deep. Now here's Stoffer. Seven points in this one. Pass over to Robinson. Outside James. So he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And the foul's on Eric Fisher. Clever, using the opponent's eagerness to contain him against them while drawing the shooting foul. And the leader of this Wolfpack team, without a doubt, is Patrick Wells, a three-star recruit who has a chance to play at the next level. And he's not the biggest or most athletic player on the floor, but when he warms up, I mean, look out. The kid can straight up shoot the ball. If he can bulk up and add some strength, he could be a factor in college. No question who's been in control of this one. Yeah, they have really taken charge. It's Dillard outside. On the wing, Michael Juan. Shot clock at six. Now here's Dillard, defense right there. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Oh, look at this six-foot dealer fighting for it inside against contact. Man, did he want that bucket. They set the screen. And Patrick Wells outside. Doesn't go for him. On the wing, it's MP. Guarded by Wells. And for Zach Timmerman of the Wolfpack, he moved here from Iowa not too long ago. Yeah, we haven't seen too much of him, and I know the Wolfpack would have liked to see more of him. Unfortunately, he's been plagued by back problems, which can't be fun. You wonder how long he'll be able to keep playing for. Now here's Robinson. Wells, right side. Great D that time from Eric Dillard. Here's Edwards. The shot's good on the assist from Michael Luan. And what a game for MP. He is showing out with a 30-point evening. Just looking to get anything going offensively. Honestly, it feels like there's a lid on the hoop right now. Out of bounds, it'll be Dynasty Ball. When you're driving home, you're going to be thinking about sloppy plays like that for a while. This has been a very one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their lead. A great part of MP's approach is that even with all the scouting attention, he hasn't shied away from drawing contact or being physical, and he continues to focus on doing the work week in, week out. No good at the free throw line. And he's good on the second. The Wolf Pack with the ball. Outside Stoffer. Patrick Wells on the wing. With just five to shoot. Count the basket. I mean, Wells has no shortage of confidence. And after a good night like tonight, it's going to help blow it up even more. Edwards outside. Fisher. Back to Edwards. Fires the three. Here's the deer coach. Foul called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw. line here second team foul <laughs> and keep in mind the deer goes other sports wrestling Dave so he really is that tough and he enjoys the contact he hits the second from the line and now wells 23 points in the game back to carter Puts up a three, knocks it down from distance. I mean, look, if you're gonna give Carter the three-point shot, he's gonna take that. Nice job capitalizing there. Edwards inside, Wells on him. 
Carter. He's covered by Edwards. Kicks it to Johnson. Wells. Off the mark there with the three. Now here's Dillard. Defended by Carter. Good on the bucket. Dillard can have issues finishing around the rim at times, but he was able to get the job done on that one. Here's Carter. Passes to Wells. Over Edwards. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. And on the bench for the Wolfpack, Coach Barry Bay. He's been with the program several years now and is trying to continue the success they've had this past decade. Yeah, and standing directly in his path once again is the dynasty. But with new leadership on the court from Patrick Wells, Coach is hopeful that the tide is about to turn for the pack. Ah, oh, yeah, Wells didn't need any assistance there. He snatched the ball right up and just ran the whole floor. And here in the second half, you have to say that MP and Wells both have had the same impact with their scoring. MP is the big name in this one, but Wells has been right there with him. He's come out here and matched MP shot for shot. Patrick Wells with the steal. Here's Carter. And it's Fisher with the rebound. The drive by MP. Dillard. Back to Edwards for three. And it's the Wolfpack with the rebound. Well, all game long, we've seen the passion that these teams have played with. No let up, no quit from anyone on the roster. Yeah, passion is definitely one way to say it. Nothing that we can repeat on air, but it certainly seems beyond a little friendly ribbon. For stepping to the line, Patrick Wells seems you know, sometimes get described as arrogant, but I'm sure he prefers. <laughs> called by the dynasty. Substitution for the Wolfpack. Timeout. The drive by MP. Here's the Dirko. Stoffer grabs the board. Passes to Wells. That falls. Nice feed that time from Michael Stoffer. They needed a run to get back into this game, and they got it. And it wasn't just about getting hot offensively. Defensively, they've been terrific, too, during this crucial stretch of the game. Now here's Fisher. Back to Edwards. Takes the three. The three-pointer goes. And that's the kind of confidence and scrappiness that scouts love seeing. MP knows how dangerous he can be off the catch. Three-pointer, Patrick Wells. And no good. They can burn some clock if they want. And they can get a little breathing room here, too. Here's Zadirko. Makes it off the glass. Zadirko doubles down there on the interior for some hard-earned points. And so here it's the Wolfpack. 15-point game. Two minutes remaining. Now Wells. He's guarded closely. Robinson sets the screen. Launches it. It's hauled in by the Dynasty. They have led by as many as 18 points. Outside Luan. Edwards. Guarded by Wells. Outside Luan. Edwards. Pass over to Dillard. Down to five on the shot clock. To the middle. And they couldn't get a shot off in time. That's a 35 second shot clock violation. And so here it's the Wolf Pack. Down by 15. Stoffer with the ball. Outside James. The Wolf Pack again can't hit it. On the wing, it's MP. Guarded by Wells. Counts that one. This run has really put them in the perfect position. And with no signs of slowing, they aim to keep expanding that lead. Here's Wells! And the foul is called as he misses. He'll go to line for two shots. And the foul's on Eric Fisher. And this is what his teammates love. Wells doesn't fear getting hit. 
He wants to get to the line as often as possible. Shooting two. That one falls, so he hits them both. Now here's Dillard. Edwards outside. Potkins outside. Pass over to Dillard. Six to shoot. Edwards guarded by Wells. And here's Ricky Davidson from the arc. Johnson with the rebound. Just two seconds separate the shot clock and the game clock. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the dynasty. It's Dillard outside. Back to Edwards. Can't hit it from close range. That will do it. Put it in the books. The dynasty continued their amazing start to the season and now stand at 12 and 0. Great win for them here. A real gem. You could see why the dynasty have been the team to beat. Great execution for them when it mattered most. Well, you know the Wolfpack would give everything they had. You could feel the intense tone of this rivalry match early on. Yeah, we've seen this before. Ultimately, talent just wins out. The Dynasty has a great group of players to build on, and they might have been tested here a bit, but they proved to be the better team. For Danny Hogger and Drake Hugo, this is Joe Lamy saying thanks for being with us. Yo, she was here. I didn't see her. Yeah, she came with her cousin. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, uh, man, you mind if I talk to him real quick? I apologize, bro. Hey, look, I know we butt heads over the years, but we go to the same school now. Bro, are you thick in the head or something? I don't like you, man. Look, I ain't trying to be your best friend. I'm just trying to win some games. All right, all right? That's, that's fine. Yeah. How about we talk on the court? And off the court, you and me, we ain't cool. Great. That's a great attitude. It we don't win states idea. like yep, that. Yep, and I don't care about states. Yeah, that's because you playing for the scouts. Right, right. And right? that's because you playing for the fantasy. What, you think, you think they're going to rebuild the factories because you passing a little Jimmy in the clutch? You really want to help these people? How about you take over? Make the lead. Then when you got some actual power, you can actually help these people. All right, stop this nice guy hiding behind that when the truth is you scared to become the player you need to be in order to build a real dynasty. This is just a costume, bro. These words, meaningless. Unless you put something behind that. Yeah, I... Yeah. Think about it. 